Hello and welcome back, everybody, to Thea. How you doing, Ben? I'm good. Uh, where were we last time? We've oh, been a while. It has See, been a while. If you're watching this, you might have thought, I bet you, Lewis and Ben, are never going to come back to Thea. <laughs> Maybe we should put like two days gap in between the episodes. So yeah. We've given up. That's right. Everyone will have just assumed that, that we'd never come back. But I figured that, you know, I'm, I'm the kind of guy who just enjoys playing games and man for some reason i'm enjoying this i'm i'm really sh- i'm very confident that no one is watching this this isn't a civ series it's not yeah. popular it's not a main channel series it's just me and ben talking shit drinking tea yeah playing for funsies and uh so what, what you i've i've ended my turn actually oh, okay i've zoomed right into my expedition right. and i don't know who it is but one of these ladies is very sexy well, that will be Igrit, right she's yeah the only... she's she's the hunter huntress she's a babe um, or it could be Legolas. <laughs> Who knows? It could be Legolas. <laughs> From behind, it's really hard to tell. Oh my goodness, actually. Yeah, he has got that feminine frame. <laughs> yeah. So um, I poured you out a cup of tea. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. It's Oolong and Osmanthus. Mm. It's called like Yellow Treasure. What? What is that? Well, it's like, I think it's like a Chinese... I mean, Oolong, I think it's classed as a black tea rather than green tea, even though it's, even though it's not really either. But I, I, you know what? I don't know what the... What the difference is a black teas cooked i know that you can get like roasted teas man i, I need to learn more. you know about your, your teas i don't know that's exactly the problem oh. is it one of those things where the more you know the more you realize how little you know that's correct yeah so were we did we actually have to go into this cosmic uh, tree yeah last should time? i just walk in yeah. knock on the door um tippy tap on the tree we, I, I guess we didn't go in there so oh gosh now there's going to be a lot of not very well written story yeah so long story short decayed ruins of an elf with uh with a scroll in his hand okay that's that's fine that's so, gonna um, give us some read the scroll well nah throw it away well listen chuck it chuck it, chuck, chuck I, it. I didn't come here looking for a scroll i came here looking for a tree exactly. so screw that we heard that there was a tree here that yeah, uh, you tried to throw it away, but it remains in your hands. Oh no, it's bullshit! <laughs> it's like the worst GM it's ever. Like, it is, isn't it? It's <laughs> yeah. like one of those really, really bad games master. <laughs> yeah. You try to rip up the, the thing, <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> you feel drawn to the letter, and somehow, uh, what? As they seem to dance in red flames. Oh my god! It's like it's like the one the one note of Mordor. Is it? It's like the ring. Yeah. You throw it in the fire. And it just burns at you me. You throw the letter in the fire <laughs> yeah. and you read the words. It's like, oh, it's forcing me to... Just, like... just, yeah, railroad me onto your quest, why don't you? God um, damn. You feel like you should encourage your people to read it. Okay, it seems like a wonderful idea now. Click. Um, oh. Right, Cosmic Tree was burning and the world ended. It was really bad. Um, when the tree died, everything died, mm-hmm. and that's why everything's horrible. It is um, very horrible here. So there's some other bits on the scroll, but I'm just going to read the main bits, because, you know, you don't need extra fluff. No. Um, there's one note from an elven scholar who says he's looking for answers, and there's a map. So that can uh, point us to another place. So yeah, elven scholar found a place of ancient power, and he's drawn a map to that. Okay. And the other note is written in someone else's handwriting. Okay. But it's talking about a sage's tower and about how mankind can use knowledge to overcome, like, elven su- superstition. Okay. So we can pick whether we want to go talk to the, the like, the university of, of clever boys or the ancient mythical tree elf guy. Let's go to the university of clever boys. Cool, because that, that is right next door to you, actually. Beat, beat, beat. Oh, my God. <laughs> The University of Clever Boys was right here was all hidden. along. You're right next to it. You didn't even know. What the fuck? It's like a ruined tower. Maybe there's no Clever Boys left. It literally just appeared there. Magic. And they say they hate magic, but do they hate it? Or do they want to have sex with it? <laughs> yeah. Do they want to stick a magic wand up their ass? <laughs> oh, do they take off their wizard robes? <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, on the way home, I stumbled past a ruin. Um... Clunking noises. Skeletons! Skeletons in the ruin! It's more. It's another Drogor tomb. But, uh, it, but it's only full of chumps, so I'm going to auto-resolve that shizzle. You'll be fine. Yeah. Hopefully no one will get wounded. Nailed it. They had uh, a bunch of quartz. 
Oh, cool. Now, it's quite nice to get all the little loot because you can slowly turn it. You might be able to deal with that spider's nest next turn as well. Yeah, I might have moved now, but I'm also overweight. The, the quartz is really heavy. Oh, you could chuck some. I mean, you've got a lot of firewood by the looks. You've got 109 days oh, wow. worth of firewood. Oh, 50 of that is elven wood. I don't want to chuck oh, that. Oh, you want to keep all the elven wood. Uh, oh, but yeah, definitely. if I can ditch like sort of 30 logs of regular old boring wood. Yeah. Um, How do you ditch logs? You just kind of chuck them chuck them in the woods yeah <laughs> i guess chuck them in the woods with all the copies of the daily sport <laughs> yeah exactly for young boys to find yeah and um, that's, that's how we used to with. get our rocks off that was how the internet porn worked in the in the 90s before the days <laughs> yeah. of it just seems like such a bizarre concept but you just took it for granted that you'd find porn in the woods if you really looked oh my god so i'm just scrolling like an idiot so if, I, I just thought, how far is this, how big is this map? So I'm going to go to my capital and I'm going to scroll mm -hmm. up, okay? okay? Now, oh my god, it just, it just doesn't stop scrolling. Really? Did you keep going? Well, we did, did we do the harder, bigger map at the beginning? I, I mean, how, look how far this is, though. It's going for like, it's oh just going god. forever. It can't all be map, surely. Some of this is just clouds. Or is is it round? Do I, will I get back to where I started? I've started to get to a weird lit up area. Weird. It, it bugs out then. Guess okay. that's going weird. Yeah, I mean, I thought it would like maybe loop round, let like you go around the whole yeah. world, like in Civ. Anyway, you're going to end your turn. Uh, sorry, this I was also flick, flicking through the clouds as well. Oh my gosh. Go. I'm ending your turn. Wow, that was like the longest. We need a third time on this bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, someone recommended that if we play D&D &D in future, we should put yeah. a turn timer on people's turns. Do you think that's, like, a good oh, idea? I kind of limits your creativity. It does, but also, like, especially in combat, it means that oh, if people, yeah. like, are dilly-dallying, you know, it also it gets people ready with their dice maybe, for their go Maybe you put stuff. a turn timer on when something is, is time-specific. So you're getting attacked, bam, if you don't answer in the next 10 seconds, you're going to get hit again. You're still massively overweight, I think, Ben. It's, oh, no, there you go. Um, here we go. Another night falls over Thea. Um, but this night, a welcome guest is seen in the shadows. A, a Lapidotch, the spirit chaser. The bizarre creature looks like an overgrown toad with long claws. It's hanging around. I'm going to leave it be. I can chase it off or leave it be, but... It sounds nice. He Apparently he can devour evil spirits, so I'm going to let the demon frog hang around. I mean... And, um, I think that the problem with this game a little bit is that it sort of tells you whether something's good or evil. Because sometimes it's nice to just tell people enough and yeah, then let them make up their like own a, mind. A folk spirit is around. You don't know if it's good yeah, or bad. Like if you said, a strange frog has appeared. What do you want to do? Do you want to leave it around or do you want to let it go? But if it says, a strange frog that's good <laughs> is yeah. around what do you want to do do you want to chase it away or do you want to yeah. leave it it's like well hang on a second i think you've just answered that question for me you? yeah there's not really much of a choice especially when um the answers are either gray or blue yeah. gray ones are like bog standard answers you can always get and the blue ones you only get if you have um like the right skill combos right so it's a bit like ftl do you remember in that the blue ones were basically the best choices uh, ftl that um, was the that was the way so this game yeah just if you see it if it's blue click it I, uh, I'm slowly gathering up nimble wood. I've got 49 of it now. I'm going to end my turn again because I ain't got nothing to do. We're just nothing. watching you play. Sorry. Um, it's because my um, my crafters have finished making their, their staves. Oh, congrats. They've really made just... some, have you got some research points to spend? Yeah, I have. But now um, I haven't actually got enough wood to make any more sticks. Now, oh. And really? Yeah, because I've only got one harvester in my base. Um I'm not getting it. I'm using it faster than I'm. I'm Are you actually? It. Is it actually worth your time, though? Bear that in mind, because well, um, it's better than them doing nothing. Well, no, but if they if they if they only get, gets like one point of science, it's kind of worth pointless, right? But it's only wood. Well, yeah, but yeah, but sometimes, like for example, I'm building the smithy out of uh, elven wood, and it's gonna give me like I think like ten science files. It said, mm. um, so it's actually worth my time building it. Yeah, but well, I just, I just gave this. I've got some my medics particularly weak. So I've given her one of these wooden staffs. It was a weapon she can actually carry without using up her whole inventory. Okay, cool. So it's, it's better than nothing. Yeah. So I'm going to keep... I, I'm going to... Once you get back, I'm going to want that elven wood, and I'm going to build some elven yeah. wood stuff. Like, if I can research elven wood watchtower, that will let me have more recruit elven. Ah, oh, um, and you can get an elf to turn I up. I mean, currently I have the elven cabbage field, um, which attracts children, which is a slightly creepy thing to do. Yeah, attract children sounds sinister. And attract it? human. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is pretty creepy as well. Um, 
Did you have an event? Did you? Oh, uh, you, you didn't I, killed, well, I killed a spider on the way home. You didn't clear that spider's nest out. No, I I thought it would take too long. It's a two it's a two sculler, and um, it's out of the way. I want to get back as quick as a two sculler, quick as possible. A skull tuller. And uh, I know how how upset you'd be if I got a Gret killed as well as Sansa. Yeah, after I'm on, I'm already I'm still. Oh, sorry, is it my I've done. Man, I, I didn't click that time. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, I, I'd be... Right. Oh. I'm already in mourning. Tyrion oh, couldn't take... Four giant snakes have attacked the um, the party. Oh, there are two Skuller, so you can fight them. Yeah, okay. Agret's in the tactical hand, so I'm going to leave her there. That's where she's best. Um, I guess you can't... Oh, no, they're not giant snakes. They're giant rats. You can't see if what the skulls are, can you? But I can. I can oh. give you, like, a secret bit of info. It's give two skulls. Two... I can handle two skulls. Yeah. No worries. Uh, right, so one card. I'm going to get Egret to trap the other offensive and get rid of that bat. Straight away. Just blam. He won't be bothering me this turn. Oh, here are the snakes. They're not too tough, though, actually. I've, I've definitely seen scarier snakes. There's scarier this. two skullers out there. Yeah. Three skullers have a much bigger, like. Yeah, it's a crazy range. jump up, isn't it? It's like each skull doubles the difficulty. No, but or some of the. I mean, I mean, a weak three skuller. There can be a weak three skuller and a really strong three skuller. That's true. Yeah, the range is crazy. Yeah, you can get like a three skuller with like one really mega scary, like 50 hit points, 50 attack monster, yeah. and 10 little snakes to mess with your card plan. I'm going to build like Rivendell. That's what I'm going to theme my place up to be oh, now. Okay. I, I, when are you going with the Game of Thrones? Yeah, but yeah. I, I feel like you're the Shire, right? Mm. I'm, I feel like if I'm building elven buildings, I might have to rename this place to Rivendell. Oh, okay. That sounds good. And also, who would, if you did attract an elf, who on earth would he be in Game of Thrones? That just doesn't make sense. Exactly. There aren't any elves in Game of Thrones. It doesn't, doesn't make any sense. But I, I also really like your uh, Lord of the Rings theme, and I'm sort of slightly jealous. Of it. <laughs> it does fit the world quite nicely, Just doesn't saying. it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I've got a hooded traveller. Sorry, I'm having all the events. That's okay. Do um, you know what really bothers me about this game, though? Mm. The misspelling of Mithril. Because that... <laughs> have I misspelled it or have they no, misspelled it? I think they've misspelled it, but they've spelled it like thrill. Like it gives me a thrill. Oh, me th thrill. <laughs> me thrill. Oh my god, she sounds like some kind of like, I don't know, um, bondage escort. Miss Miss Thrill. <laughs> oh, sh yeah. I think I've actually had her come round a couple of times. <laughs> My ass is just chapped and sore. Wow. She has to rub the lotion in. So you're just getting flashbacks from Miss Thrill every time you see that word. Hell yeah. Okay, so we've got a princess with a creepy um, guard. Oh, right. Who's okay. like, she's like, get the peasants out of my way. And he's like, just get out of here before she really, really takes any notice. Like, he knows that she's she's all stuck up, but he's just trying to get us out of here. Right. So, he so knows, I can argue with is she, him. Is she, is she alive? Uh, hooded figures. Mm, it's hard to tell. They look pretty creepy. Because there's not too many alive people out here that no. are not super creep -tastic. They might be ghosts or vampires or who knows. Um, so I can I can basically talk give, talk back and give her some lip. Um, I wouldn't give her any lip if I were you. She just, just, you know, just talk to her up, up to her like she wants to be talked to. Say, your highness, I apologise. Oh, I've only got two options. I've Please got, forgive me. Are you a princess? What? There hasn't been a kingdom for ages. Or I can say, all right, and, and leave. Uh, ask her if she's a princess, which okay. we, we know about. What's she cause... a princess of? Uh, the hooded man winces. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the girl is not listening to me. Mm. Um, and he says, listen, you seem like good folks. Um, I'll let you go. Yeah. I'm going to let you go. She's pretty mad and doomed. So uh, just, just get out of here. So. Um, Do you want to? Yeah, just, you know, just, you know, see you later. All right. Shit see ya. See you, shitlords. Nice to meet you. The hooded man shrugs and steps away. Uh, oh, no. The peasants are still here. Time to teach them a lesson. Uh-oh. Uh, it's a three-skeller. I can fight it socially or physically. A three-skeller physical. I've got more warriors than I have talkers. Yeah, you have. So maybe we'll fight this. Fight it out. Oh, I should have just left when the guy told me to. Oh, shit. She's some sort of horrible wraith. So I've got an icy princess and seven forlorn wraiths. Oh, this they sounds, sound bad. This sounds really bad. Um, but Egret is in reserve where she does her best work. So I'm going to keep the hand. And... Oh, it's me to go first. Can you play out that offensive straight? Which is, should you play out the offensive straight? I think straight I'll away? get a big hitter out first just to smack the first thing that, that appears. 
Now, previously when we were playing together, mm. we were sitting next to each other because we had a setup in my room that's um, it's quite fun. We can see each other's screen, but now I can't see your screen, so I can't. I can't even see the fight. I can't give you advice. I'm just gonna have to trust and cross my fingers. Okay, that you're I, not gonna get us. I'm already think we've lost this after the first card they played. Oh no! The, the bog standard forlorn wraiths, right? They've got 19 health, five <gasps> defense, and 17 attack. Like I think. We're going to get a party wipe in the first round of combat. Um, whoops. I'm sorry. You discarded. Did you discard, like, oh, maybe we just talked to her wrong. Um, maybe we did the wrong speech options with the old woman. Shit. What we do? So, right, I've got a confuse and a counter offensive, so I can, like, get rid of two of their attacks. I guess I'll just, um, I'll just, I'll send in Merry with the spear. Oh, yeah. God. So he's half killed a wraith, and he'll he'll finish it off when he strikes first. <laughs> the next forlorn wraith is even more powerful. Oh no! So that's pretty bad. So Boromir, that's you're up next. Do your thing, and um, Igret, get rid of one of the forlorn wraiths with your traps. Um, is it the icy princess down yeah, here? No, and the icy princess must be in her reserve hand. Okay, uh, which is pretty good. So who's who's left? I've got uh, Aragorn in tactical. So he can he can confuse. It's probably the best move. Uh, let's do that. Confuse. Okay. Um, I guess I need to narrate this more so you can see what the hell's going on. Uh, we've got Legolas and Merry up front. Oh. Then two Forlorn Wraiths. Then Boromir. Then all the rest of the Forlorn Wraiths. Oh, the princess is, is really shit. Oh, that's a relief. Um, but Merry's down. Uh, which is pretty bad. Uh, Legolas has killed one. Boromir's killed a second one. So it, we, there's only two enemies left. If It's not looking too bad. Merry may not survive. Merry. Merry. No. We needed you. You, Please. Were, the, you were the chosen one. This is a, this is really a painful... This is, <laughs> this is really costly, isn't it? This it's is not, a painful game. It's not good. This is a difficult game. Yeah. It's I really difficult. Boromir's going to go up first because he's got the biggest shields. He'll take the first hit, and and Ygritte again is going to get rid of, set some traps. I don't know how you trap a forlorn wraith, but she's doing it. It's like Ghostbusters. <laughs> right. <laughs> you roll a toaster <laughs> along the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't cross the streets. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, Legolas, your special moves. Let's get oh, you. Of course, because you've got the medic back at home, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, need, you need to spy. We need, we, need, we need to think about our party makeup. Well, I think the medic like got promoted while the, the crew were out of town. Oh, that's true. I don't think we could have done anything about that. But I think we're going to win now. I think Mary's sacrifice bought us that time we needed. And also, it turned out the Icy Princess was not a horrifically strong <laughs> yeah. mega wraith. Because sometimes you get that, like the spider oh, queen Christ. and all the little spiders. Yeah, I thought she would be like a badass, but actually yeah. she's just a she's little... She's a complete chump. Okay. Uh, but her minions are pretty badass. Do you th I mean, I always have that, that this weird question about ghosts, right? Right. You know, I always... It's like the same thing I have problem with is like heaven. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's the time issue, right? If mm -hmm. you die mm. when you're like an old man, yeah, do you suddenly become like all young and spry again in heaven? You know, is everyone yeah. in heaven like between eighteen and twenty three? You know, but what you know, but what if I only ever knew my dad as like an old man? So basically, yeah. what I'm saying is the same thing with ghosts, right? If you die as a ghost, you come back as like an old man ghost or like a child. Well, ghost? I guess theoretically, if you're a ghost, right, you. You're a ghost because something like traumatic happened that's unresolved. Yeah. So that is, that's preventing you from being what you want to be and for keeping you in this sort of like old man state that you don't want to be in. Yeah. So I think ghosts make more sense than heaven. Well, let's think, let's think about heaven though, right, as well. Because if everyone gets, if every old person gets like reset to like a nice age, what about people who are younger than that? So what about like a 16 year old who dies? Does he then become like an 18 year old oh, in or heaven? Or is he just like never allowed to drink or have sex Is he like a anything? really immature 22 year old like, <laughs> yeah. who's stuck, loves Pokemon and, you know, oh my plays God. Minecraft? You've, you've converted me, Lewis. I no longer believe in heaven. It's well, all, I'm just it's saying, like, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I just <laughs> no. want to know how it works. Yeah, well, I know. I have very similar questions about reincarnation. Um, can we? Can you get? Can you get on with it? By the way, oh, just yeah, sorry. FYI. Um, <laughs> right. So we've defeated. Them. I have literally not done a oh, single. You can't even see anything. Can but you? I can't see <laughs> anything. The gates to the underworld shut. Um, 
Fucking get back in your tomb, bitch. You plunder what's left behind. I found, ooh, a, a, a emerald bracelet, which is pretty good. Um, a, a silver trident. Holy crap. Um, 27 moonstone. Wow, I don't even know what and, that is. And 20 topaz. Wow. So I've got some wicked gemstones. Uh, Mary is critically injured, and Boromir's not looking too healthy either. Is he bleeding? They're both bleeding. Right, in that case, you need to I camp I need to camp them. it up, don't I? Yeah, camp them right now. If you um, can. Uh, I think, right, do you on. just press C to so, camp? Yeah, I can make one more step before I camp. Okay. And, and you can uh, put them on to resource gathering yeah, as well. Yeah, we'll pick up some wood and some meat and some seaweed. And I think you've got, yeah, you've got 32 turns of food left. It'll be fine. Well, they may as well get something while they're here. Why yeah. Um, okay, pray for Mary. Um, dicks out for Mary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you seen that, um, yeah. that meme of the doctor who's like, I'm so sorry, but... We received precisely three fewer Facebook pray prayers than were required to save her. Oh, no. Um, three people didn't forward on that chain email. <laughs> exactly. Exactly.